All right, today I'm gonna show you my shower routines. Regular nights, I'll get in the shower, get my hair wet a little bit, and then I'll use my conditioner. I'll put a lot in and I'll rinse it out. And then hydrating facial cleanser and then body wash, of course, because on this channel we have good hygiene. And then turn off the shower, get out. First thing I'll do, take my oil, oil my hair, brush it through, and then put my hair in a towel. There we go. My next step is putting in my sensitive facial moisturizer. And then, oh sorry my cat is, <laughs> and then put on my hand cream. If you can't read it, this is, oh lord. Okay, if you can't read it, this is hand food hydrating hand cream. Then I'll get out of the shower and get changed. But on Sunday nights, I'll get into the shower, use shampoo, and of course, use my scrubs, and I'll rinse it out. Then I'll do conditioner and rinse it out, my hydrating facial cleanser, and body wash again. And then I'll get out of the shower and I'll oil my hair. I oil it every night and I'll put on the hand cream and I put this on my face instead of the other stuff. Alright, my cat is exploring my bathroom for some reason. Well, on to the next thing my nightly routine. So I'll get out of the, so I'll come out of the bathroom after I take my shower. I'll come in here and I'll get dressed. And this is my dresser. It has a lot of plants and a clock. So yeah. And by getting dressed, I meant I'll put on pajamas. Cause I always put on pajamas after I shower, giving that I shower at like, 6 to 7 p.m. And it's usually dark by then. So then I'll go upstairs, I'll have dinner, and I'll watch a show or maybe play my game. And what I do throughout the day is I'll wake up, and then I'll have breakfast, and then I'll go to school, like right after breakfast. <laughs> and school is seven hours, so I get home at usually... Usually two forty, no, like two fifty. I want to say, yeah, two fifty sounds about right. So I get home at two fifty, and my parents aren't home at this time. So then I will eat a lot of chocolate. Don't tell my parents. That's why her stash is almost out. <laughs> well, my stash. And then I'll just like have a quads break. <laughs> I'll have a quads break. And then um, I might, I sometimes I take a shower during the day, but usually not. So a quads break. And I usually go on my tablet or my phone. I, I don't really know. And then my parents get home. And then we do random stuff, then we have dinner, then we watch a show. Then I brush my teeth, have my vitamins, and go to bed. And that's a cycle all over again. I forgot to add, um, I go to swim practice 
usually between five and six. Any time between five and six. Totally off subject, but I drew, well, colored, colored in a paw. It's my black cat paw, because that line is black, if you can't really tell. I think it looks pretty decent. I like it. It's pretty. <laughs> okay. Okay, um... I have some bad news. My fish died last night. He was four or five. He was a beta. And he was suffering. It was really hard for me, but I had to put him in ice. I know it's inhumane, but it was our only option. I know it's so inhumane. But it was our only option. Trust me, I didn't want him to suffer either. It was what was best for him. He was hurting. He was hurting. So I had to let him go. I hope you guys can understand that. I hope you guys can understand that. I had to let him go. I couldn't let him keep suffering. I know there's gonna be a hater who sees this and is gonna say, oh, she deserves to have her pet die. How would you like to have a fish you've had for four years pass away? You seeing it. I, it's hard. I know people are going to say, oh, it's just a fish. He wasn't just a fish. I don't know how to put it, but that's not what he was. He wasn't just a fish. And my mom is saying that we should just replace him. But she doesn't understand. We can't replace him. I am sorry I'm venting on you guys. She just says that we should replace him. You can't... Guys, this is what some people need to understand. You can't replace them. Pets... They're not something you can just replace. No, that's not how it works. You can't just replace someone. That's not how life works, unless you're a cruel person. Thanks for watching, but I'm gonna end with something happy. So, I know I said that you can't replace pets, but, um, that means we're gonna get a goldfish. And I'm not happy that he died. I'm just happy we're getting a goldfish. That makes it a little better. So, no, I wasn't wishing for him to die so I could get a goldfish. I was... I wouldn't want him to die. If love could save anything that I have... God, my pets would be immortal. They're not even pets, they're family. Thanks for watching.